What's up guys? This video is sponsored by Mystery Tackle Box and today we're doing a MTB versus live bait challenge. So here's the challenge part. I'm going to use the stuff in the MTB box but I have to catch a bass that's at least five pounds to compete with the live bait part of the challenge. But guys, you can use the real Jedi code to get your first MTB box for $5 off. I'm gonna put the link down in the description below. Let's go do this challenge. What do we have in here? Looks like we have this Lucky Craft Square Bill. That looks really good. These things are like $14 or $15. Anything Lucky Craft is expensive. We got a little spinner bait by Catch Co here. That looks cool. A Strike Pro Swim Bait. That looks really good. That looks like a little shiner. I've never heard of Strike Pro, but this is one of the reasons why I love Mystery Tackle Box, because I find out about new lures I've never heard about. Some little flukes. This would work really good for some finesse fishing. I wish I had that the other day. And we have the runt. All right, let's take this stuff and let's go fishing. While I'm doing the artificial fishing with Mystery Tackle Box, I'm gonna go ahead and throw out a little bit of dog food, a little bit of fish food, get the fish going. And while they're doing that, we're gonna do the mystery tackle box part of the challenge. So guys, I chose this Lucky Craft square bill out of there because square bills are awesome in the summertime. And I just caught an 11 pound bass on the square bill. So, I mean, I think the square bill has the best shot at beating live bait. But, let's find out. Oh, is that a fish? Oh guys, this is a toad. What is this? This has gotta be a turtle. What the heck? Was that a bass? Guys, I don't know what that was, but it was huge. Let's get these fish going again. Oh, that's a fish right there. Well, that's a big bass, guys. That's a big bass. That's a toad. That's a toad. One on the board for MTB. Ooh. All right, nice little bass there. I'll go ahead and let her go. So what I'm doing is I'm throwing this fish food out. I'm getting these shiners and the brim are getting fired up. And when the shiners and the brim come up here like that, all the bass are coming up here. I'm just dragging my crankbait through there. So those bass are patrolling under the, under the um, live bait, waiting for an opportunity to strike a fish. And when I drag this crankbait through there, they see it, and if it looks like an easy meal to them, they'll grab it. Oh, oh, he grabbed it. He grabbed it. Bass number two for Mystery Tackle Box. Jump on back in the water. Well, I ain't got to touch it, bud. Oh, oh, <laughs> I hope you guys seen that. That was cool. So I paused it right at the bank, and I watched him come up and grab it. Number three for Mystery Tackle Box. Mystery Tackle Box isn't doing bad. But this bass guy's literally come up and got it on top of the water. It was just sitting still. I stopped right at the bank, and he come up and got it. Let's let it go. I'm about hooked him again. Oh, oh, he got it. He choked it. He choked it. Once again, guys, I had paused it right at the bank, and he grabbed it. It's a little better one there. Check her out, boys. Let's let her go. Oh, he grabbed it. He grabbed it. Right on the paws. So guys, sometimes you just gotta let the fish tell you what they want. Sometimes they want it fast. Sometimes they want it slow. Sometimes they want a stop and go retrieve. Today, they're hitting it on the paws. So I've had several that hit it right at the bank when I pause it. And just then, I seen something out there feeding. I seen some small bait fish jumping out the water. And I reeled it through there, and I hadn't had a bite yet, so I paused it, and right when I paused it, he grabbed it. Ooh. Ooh, that, that, was, that might be a good one there. That might be a good one there. Come on up here, bass. Come on. Oh, he hit it like a good one. Yeah, it's so much fun catching bass on reaction baits versus a plastic worm because whenever they hit it they nail it now a big one most of the time will just load your rod up he'll just suck it in you'll feel weight and that's what this one did that's why i thought it was a big one but let's throw it back 
Now after I throw it back, I'm going to get right back over there because there might be another one. There might be a couple of them over there and they might be fired up. You get them fired up like that, you can catch them back to back. Oh, oh, he grabbed it right at the bank again. Well, we are definitely getting the numbers for Mr. Tackle Box. Oh, I got him. Did I get, oh, yep, I got him. He grabbed it. That's a good one. I feel like a two pounder. Come on, two pounder. Well, guys, Mystery Tackle Box is getting the numbers, that's for sure. There we go, I got a hook out. Let's throw him back. But I gotta throw this crankbait one more time where I hook the big one at. One more time. Ooh, something's oh, 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 something swiped it. <laughs> Guys, look at that. That's a big brim. And the crankbait looks like a small brim. He's a cannibal. Catch co spinnerbait. This should catch us a looker here. Spinnerbait time. Oh, he nailed it. <laughs> he nailed it. Oh, he got off. That was like a five pounder. No. That daggum turtle right there. I'm going to pop him in the head. Oh, he grabbed it. I seen a log right there underwater, guys, and I bounced it off that log, and right after I did that, he grabbed it. Throw her back. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one right there. Come on over here. That's a toad right here, boys. Nope. Oh, he got off. I had another one get off at the bank. Oh, he grabbed it. He grabbed it. Let's get him in here. This is a small one. I want the big one. Make him ski across the water. Come on, bass. He is long and skinny. Let's let it go. Oh, ho, ho. oh man, that was a big one right there, guys. That was a big one. Damn, that was like a four or five pounder. Oh, ho, ho, he grabbed it. He grabbed it right at the bank. Is that the same one? No, that's a that's a different one. He's a good one. Let's throw it back. So we are back at the pond again. It got dark on me yesterday, but I have to catch a bass that's at least five pounds for the mystery tackle box part of the challenge. I hooked two that were five pounds yesterday, but I didn't get them in. Then I hooked that one that was either a 10 pound bass or a 10 pound turtle. So let's get them fired up. Oh yeah, look at that. And let's drag this crankbait down there. Oh, oh, missed him. Oh, he grabbed it right there. There he is. That's a solid one. That was so awesome, guys. I, I stopped it and I watched him come up and grab it. There's a good one. He's not five pounds. That's probably the biggest one with Mystery Tackle Box yet. I say he's a, he's a solid four pounds. Let's let it go. The brim are coming up and hitting it. Oh, that bass come up and try to get that brim that was after my square bill. Let's see if we can do that again. I got an idea, guys. Maybe I can snag one of these shiners. Technically, that'll still be caught with Mystery Tackle Box bait. If I snag the shiner and then the bass eats the shiner, it's not live bait fishing. Oh, there's one. There's one. He's a small one. You gotta get a bigger one than that. So let it go. Oh, there's one. That was a brim. Oh, there's a toad, boys. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. Yeah, that's a big one. Oh, oh, he come off. No. Dang. That was like a seven pounder. He was barely hooked. I watched him come up and grab it. Ooh. -hoo. Guys, I just hooked a shiner. A bass tried to eat him. Let's see if I can hook a shiner. Oh, there's a bass. There he is. Tag gum. That's another solid one. Still back. 
Oh, there was a big one. Oh, I got a bait fish. I got a bait fish. Let's see what's going to happen to him. Where's the bass at? I know there's a bass falling him. So now look, there's a bait fish, guys. I got him hooked with a crankbait. I'm just going to let him swim around until a bass grabs him. I can't believe a bass hadn't smashed him yet. One come up and looked at him, but they can, I guess it's because they can see that crankbait in the back. Oh, there he went. Oh, I got him. Oh, he come off. Something's gonna come up and grab him. You watch. Oh, he grabbed him. Oh, I got him. I got him. He's barely hooked too. Oh, 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 oh. Come over here. Oh, that's a good one. That's a hog. That's a hog, guys. That's a giant. Oh. Come on over here. Barely hooked on the outside of the mouth. Check him out, boys. That's probably about a seven pounder there. Look at the mouth on that joker. Now I'll let you guys be the judge if this counts for mystery tackle box or for live bait. Yeah, I say he's probably about six pounds. So he just got off the bed. We are gonna go ahead and let the toad go. Yeah, it's about a seven pounder. Not that way, buddy. Swim the other way. Swim the other way. There she goes, she's off. All right, guys, we have the mystery tackle box challenge out of the way. That was a seven pounder. That is gonna be hard to beat, but I'm gonna be using big live bait. Oh, there's a big shine right there. That's a big one, guys. That's gonna get us a 10 pounder. If something eats this shiner, it's gonna be big. I mean, it's gonna be big, guys. I'm talking like eight plus, and he is just a going. Something's gonna get him. I got him hooked in the back, and I'm just kinda keeping my line tight, and that's forcing him to swim on top of the water. There's it's only about three or four foot deep here, and there's a bunch of sticks. If he gets me down those sticks, I'll lose him. Ooh, hoo, hoo. ooh, did he get it? Oh, he got it, guys, he got it. Oh, that was a toad right there. I'm gonna let him run with it for a minute, and then I'm gonna go for a hook set. Oh, my line broke, shit. Guys, this is 30 pound braid. There we go. Finally got us a shiner. All right, we got us a shiner. Time for a big bass. Apparently he can see my hook or my line or something. He does not want it. He knows something's up. Ooh, there's a big one under it. I can see it. Looks like an eight pounder. Oh, something's after him. Something got after him there. Ooh, ooh, there he went. There he went. He got him that time, boys. Oh, that was a big one. Oh, I got the hook in it. Oh, come up here. Oh, I pulled it out of him. No. That might have been a 10 pounder there. Let's see if it'll come back for it. Oh, oh. That one grabbed it. That's not a 10 pounder, though. Got the hook in him. Got the hook in him. There we go. Check him out, boys. So right now, Mr. Tackle Box is winning. That's probably a solid three and a half. Let's let it go. All right, guys, I'm not sure who the winner is here. I'll let you decide. Drop in the comments if you think MTB won or if you think Live Bait won. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I have another video out for you soon.